Hey everybody, this is John from DroidDog.com. I've had my Samsung Vibrant for a little more than 24 hours now, and I wanted to show you a couple of things Samsung included to enhance the Android UI, namely live wallpapers and widgets. Let's get to it. If you watched my unboxing yesterday, you know that when you open the Samsung Vibrant for the first time, it just has a still grass image for the wallpaper, but Samsung did include some really cool live wallpapers that you won't find on other phones. And this one that I have installed or running right now is called Luminescence. And as you can see, there's a, a few different colors on these little squares here with some lights moving around in the background. But when you press the screen, eh, I held it too long. When you press the screen, you can see that the, uh, the squares get displaced like you're pushing them down. So you can see some depth in the screen there. And then what's interesting is while you're switching home screens, as on all uh, Android, the wallpaper moves more slowly in the background than the icons do in the foreground to give you, uh, you know, more of a, a sense of depth. But you still see those squares getting depressed in the background, so it's really neat. It kind of makes it feel like a jelly-like substance that you're moving your icons around in. And the, the squares even get depressed when you tap an icon. So if you watch the squares around The Sims 3 here, you see that they got depressed, which is uh, pretty cool. Yes, I played The Sims earlier just to check it out. I, I can't even figure out how to plant a garden, so. All right, so let's check out the next one. Actually, let's start at the top of the list. That one just happens to be my favorite, the luminescence. Here's one called Blue Sea. And I'm gonna set each of these as wallpaper so we can see how they change when I touch them. I don't think this, oh, okay, so those bubbles light up like jellyfish, I guess, actually, not bubbles. And then they just drift around and pulsate. What's the verb that, what's the uh, term for what jellyfish do to swim? That's what I'm going to use. All right. Watch those jellyfish. Next one down is dandelions. Swaying in the breeze. And as you touch them, those little hairs. Wah, wah. One thing I've noticed about all of these live wallpapers on the Vibrant is that they kind of they're kind of fast. Oops, not widgets. grass. We've seen that one before on the Nexus and other phones. So it has day and night themes and the blades just kind of sway back and forth a little bit. We don't need to set that one. Luminescence we looked at. Nexus, of course. This was uh, the big first live wallpaper that, that uh, everybody showed the Nexus off with. Ocean Waves. So you can make ripples in the water. That one's pretty cool. A coral reef beneath. And the ripple, I don't know if you can see that. The ripple follows my finger around. So that's pretty neat. And if you can't tell on, on film here, the screen really does look amazing. Uh, a lot of people ask me if this phone is too light and plasticky, and you know, it's a, a matter of taste when you hold it next to the Evo. Yeah, it, for some reason, I don't know, I kind of associate the, the lightness and plastic feel of it with cheapness, but it's like, this is a really beautiful phone. The speed and the display alone, you know, are, are pretty amazing. So the other two are ones that we've already seen on Android. Uh, so let's just check out Samsung's custom widgets. I think I'll actually use a more simple wallpaper so that you guys can see what's really going on with the widgets here. They've got some cool wallpapers in here anyway. I'm looking for something kind of plain. One of those solid or gradient colors would be good. Let's use this one. Sorry for that noise in the background. I think somebody's doing some yard work here. Construction or something. So of course you have all the usual Android widgets, but uh, 
we're going to go into Samsung widgets and just run through the list here. Several of these are very similar clocks, but uh, I want you guys to see everything that's available. So here's the AccuWeather clock. The image on the face of the clock changes depending on the weather uh, and the time of day. So you see the high and low, the date, and you can recycle it. And I think that little icon indicates the uh, forecast for the day, rain, clouds, whatnot. Buddies now. Now I didn't want to give away anybody's information, so I just put a 411 and more link in here. But it will show your buddy's uh, contact photo here, and then you can either message or call them straight from that screen. You can also expand the widget like that, which is really cool. Just going back and forth between the two. This one takes up the full display. Either way. Calendar clock. Now this one looks really simple, right? It looks like there's not a whole lot going on. But you hit the little plus sign there, you can actually add events just straight from the clock right That which is really cool. Um, saved, but it doesn't like pop up in the background or anything like that. Uh, still, pretty neat. Daily briefing. Now this one, uh, there's something, one aspect of this one that I don't like. You can see if you pop one there, it opens up a reader. But you can change the settings here and tell it what to include, AccuWeather.com, Yahoo Finance, and AP Mobile News. Uh, you can also create alarms, which is cool. Okay, so when you have all three of those options selected, you can see that this is a uh, full screen widget. Let me just add my city here real quick. All right, so I got lots of cool information there. But what happens if I just want to get rid of these two and have the daily briefing? or the, the AP Mobile News. I should have some more space for icons here, right? But I don't. This space is just taken by the widget. The widget is like assigned the entire screen. It's just not showing visible information there. Uh, but you know, small complaint. While we're talking about this kind of stuff though and while I'm messing with these icons, I hope there's a way to change these icons down here. If not, that's pretty frustrating. I don't need dialer and contacts. I can get to my contacts by hitting dialer and then hitting the contacts button. Um, I'd rather have an internet there. Oops, I had to cut that out there, sorry. I'd rather have a browser there, or I'd rather have a, uh, an email there instead of messaging. And I'd rather have the market. You know, you never know what, what somebody's going to want. And the, it's, uh, it's kind of a disappointment that, uh, and I guess I should show you that you can't do it, that you can't simply drag and drop icons there because you get the delete just to remove function so I'm hoping I'm missing something but I, I don't think I am sadly alright where were we days widget now this one is really cool um, it shows you your your calendar entries right there so you have a schedule you can make a memo like don't forget to get cat food today and then you can also attach photos to it so it opens up this days application and you can that's a really bad photo I took in the dark last night in my apartment but uh, I think that's really neat um, create little diary entries because there is a diary app on here so they've tied several of their apps together which is uh, I think really cool whoops get back to that where was I so I see those days in the background I guess you can't flip through them though anyway that, I think that's a really cool app integration with calendar and diary handy it's probably one of my favorites I think Dual clock, uh, got London and see. Mm, just gives you the dual clock option. Okay, so it looks like it doesn't go to an alarm or anything like that. That's pretty cool though. Say you're on on a trip and you want to keep track of. Uh, the time in your hometown or a relative's time so you don't call them too late or something. Feeds and updates. Now this can include uh, Facebook, MySpace, Twitter. You can set the refresh rate and you can pop back and forth between full screen and the widget. I mean it's actually not popping back and forth, it's just opening the app. But uh, and then you can of course send updates, refresh. Alright, Yahoo Finance Clock. So let's select a stock. Okay. Wow, that's cool. So you got the down, how much it fell there with a the red arrow, date, total points, fallen. Uh, little information down here. 
Oh, it just says quotes delayed. Okay, that's not like a dynamic update thing. But then you got a refresh button. So that's it. That's the uh, wallpapers and widgets on Samsung's Galaxy S for T-Mobile, the Vibrant.